beautiful flowers. This is all. <laughs> a lot of the several colonies of this things from Milly Gorgia. The white fence, and then there seems to be a crazy Gorgia in the middle there. But it's quite lobster. Did you say did you say these might be fossilized? You see these dark stalks? Yeah. Yeah, so those are really old. They're black, so they have that iron manganese coating on them. Okay. So they are in the fossilization process. And that coating, I mean, that mag it's it's a slow process. So the fact that it's yeah all over, that's speaking to how old these. Yeah, are. I think yesterday I was mentioning that I know for iron manganese nodules, the growth rate of those nodules is about a millimeter, a million years. Uh, I don't know exactly what the uh -huh. rate of this, but it's just essentially it's a material, and so. If you ask a geologist, that's nothing. <laughs> yeah, right. It's just so neat that they've been sitting here undisturbed for yeah. so long. Yeah, so I would say it's safe to say at least millennia. God. Wow. Yeah, I know because it's covered in the way everything else, it looks sculpture-esque. Yeah. yeah, it really is. Yep. Yeah, that is a beautiful shot. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can see the golden uh, What's the glass blower's name? He's out in Seattle. Beautiful. There's another big sponge in the back. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, and another Rito Gorgon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the top left corner. Looks like something he would make. Big abundance of benthic animals here. Yep. Very cool. That should be a great DNA sample on it. <laughs> <laughs> it will be really interesting, for sure. See what we get. Yeah, I'm so and excited. And compare it to, to, the, to the observations, right? Are we detecting the same things or different things? Wow. So... If if we have an unknown species of coral here, is it are we going to know that it's a coral, but it's an unknown species, or are we just going to know that it's something unknown? So the primers, the primers are what we use to um, make lots of copies of our um, diagnostic diagnostic genetic sequence. So so they are uh, short sequences of DNA on either end of that marker, right? So they can bind. So some markers that coral the that, that target the corals would uh, bind specifically to coral eDNA sequences, but they, they wouldn't bind to the fish, right? Got it. So we okay. would use that marker if we wanted to really focus in on this, the coral species. Right? So, there, so there's some science then that could happen, like we have an unknown, so we can use certain primers to see, okay, is this unknown coral versus is this unknown fish versus... Yeah, so we can we can do that to make a lot of copies of, of of the coral DNA. We've got similar primers that work for fish, and there's a host of other primers that target different groups of organisms from whether at the species level. Then we have primers that can target broad ranges of, of, of creatures that could be of all different types. Cool. Thank you. So thank you. So sure. Much.